Hi, good day everyone. This is Lane of Miss Lane Diaries and for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a database using ChatGPT. So the version of this is ChatGPT 3.5. So you know already that in ChatGPT, you're going to make commands. So I can just simply put create a database for hospital and chat GPT will definitely create some of the things that I'm going to do for creating a database for hospitals so for this one chat GPT is telling me that I should identify the entities Define the attributes, create the tables, establish relationships, set up data validation, implement security measures, test, and refine. So these are the things that I'm going to consider when creating a database for a hospital. So it means that when you are going to put a general instruction, just like create a database for hospital, it will give you this set of instructions and uh, it will give you some suggestions of what you are going to do okay so for you to be able to create a database in chat gpt you should command chat gpt in a specific manner so for example i'm going to give chat gpt an example and first we know already that in creating a database it should have a design conceptual design so I have here an example I will make chat GPT create me a conceptual schema so create a conceptual schema for this problem so I have a problem here I'm going just to paste it and then I'm going to let chat GPT create the conceptual schema so here is my instruction create a conceptual schema for this problem a department employs many employees but each employee is employed by only one department and so on so some employees known as rovers are not assigned to any department a division operates many departments but each department is operated by only one division and up to the one one of the employees runs each division and each division is run by one employee so here's the conceptual schema made by ChatGPT. So ChatGPT identified department, employee, rover, division, and project for our entities for this database. And then the attributes. So for each entity, the attributes are identified for the department. So ChatGPT created already the attributes for the entities though it is not explicitly given in the problem so in the problem it only gives the the constraints as well as the entities okay so the, here are the primary keys and then there is a foreign key because there is a relationship between the division and the department. Okay, so here is the relationship and it will give an explanation. So these relationships will guide us on how are we going to relate an entity to another entity. So it says that employee and department will have one to many relationship type and then the department will have the one to one cardinality ratio the division to department is one to many and department to division is one to one and then employee to project is many to many and project to employee is one two and so just make sure that it gives you the right the right conceptual model based on the problem given 
and then after that we can allow ChatGPT to create a MySQL command for this. So let's try create a MySQL command for creating a database for the problem above. So it will prompt ChatGPT to create a MySQL command for the problem above. So we'll just wait for ChatGPT to create the command. So there are cases that ChatGPT will um, have this type of problem that it will generate in a slow manner because it is in a very high demand. So now, Chat GPT is creating a database for hospital because that is our first command. So it use hospital and then it will create now the different tables. I'll click stop generating for this because there is a log time. I will issue again the I will regenerate the response and let's see if it improves okay here it is so when it's log we can stop command chat GPT to stop generating and then we're going to uh, regenerate the response again so here is the database for the department that we see so um, since we use hospital as a first command in ChatGPT, ChatGPT remembers that maybe the database for this is hospital. That's why it says create database hospital. So we, we always remember what type of database that we're going to create. So for this one, it uses hospital. So we can, we can tell ChatGPT that the database is not for a hospital. Is company, not hospital. Please, please generate again. Okay. So it now renamed into company and it gives us this one. Just make sure that all of the relationship associations are really created for the database that, that you want to do. And then after that, we can also let chat GPT insert, do an insert of the insertion or manipulation of the data. So for example, we are going to allow chat GPT to generate, generate a query in my SQL to insert five entries for each Oh, no, five entries, five rows for each table. So you're just going to copy and paste this one to the to MySQL workbench or what type of IDE uh, or what type of idea you're using. So. We'll stop to generate this one because it generates in a very slow manner and regenerate again. Maybe it becomes faster now. Still, it's slow. Okay, now it's getting faster.
I will stop generating and then regenerate the response again. And this is the problem of ChatGPT. When you're going to, when it's free, um, it will say one only one message at a time. Please allow other responses to complete before sending another message or wait one minute. When I'm going to regenerate response, okay, this time it's better. So it will give us this one. So it will give us some examples of how to insert the tables for the rows for each table. So when you allow ChatGPT to create databases, you should give proper instructions or detailed instructions for ChatGPT to do because ChatGPT, as we know, will just follow what we give as a command. So I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope that I can make more of this videos for ChatGPT. Have a great day, everyone.